Welcome back to classroom one. So uh, let's get started. This phonics video is video number two. Today we will be learning about the inflectional ending ER. Remember that you can pause or play this video at any time you need to hear something again. Here are some supplies you will need to have during this video. A pencil and some paper to write on. Remember, it doesn't matter if it's lined paper or just plain white paper. Pause the video to get what you need and then push play to continue. In our first phonic sounds videos, we talked about the spelling patterns for the angry R. Do you remember them? Let's say the chant together. Here we go. E-R-I-R-U-R-R. -R -R -R. ER is often seen at the end of words. The ER ending can be added to some words to make new words. If we add ER to the end of verbs, action words, it changes the verb to a noun. I want you to split your paper into two sections or columns and copy down the words you see in the boxes. Press pause on the video while you do this, and when you're ready, you can push play, and we will continue. Okay, let's start. Let's look at the first example. The action word is teach. Teach is something that you do. It's a verb. I can change the verb teach into a noun like this. Pen. All right. Black ink here. All right. So teach. So we're going to write teach again. And if I add er on the end of the word, teach becomes teacher. Now it's a noun. Our next word says work. Work is something you do. Work is a verb. That's right, work. Okay, if I add the inflectional ending ER to the end of work, I get worker. Now, worker is a person, it's a person who works. Your next word is learn. That's right, learn. L E A R. In. Learn. Learn is a verb. It's something you do. If we add the inflectional ending ER to the end of the word learn, we get a noun, a person, and the word is learner. That's a person who learns. All right. Our next word is farm. F A R M farm. Look a little close, but that's okay. Farm. Let's add the ER ending to the end of it. And we get a noun, and now we have a person, farmer. A person who farms. All right, our next word is fight. F-I-G-H-T. Do you remember the I-G-H? We worked on that a while back. Fight. All right. Add the inflectional ending to the end of it. Fight becomes fighter, a person who fights. Okay, last word. Our last word says read. R E A D. Read is something you do, it's a verb. If we add ER to the end of it, Read becomes reader, a person who reads. For this first part of the assignment, I want you to flip your paper over and divide it into four boxes so that it looks like the example on the screen. If you need to press pause while you do this, go ahead and when you're ready to start, press play. Are you ready? Here are your directions. I want you to write the verbs, 
at the top of each box. Then you will add ER the end of it to make a new word and then you'll write a sentence using the word and then you will make a drawing. Let's do the first one together. Let me get my pen. Ink. Okay. The first word is drive. Notice how the word drive already ends in an E. And do you remember how we talked about words that end in E and when we want to add ED to the end of it? We have to get rid of one of the E's. Uh, otherwise, it changes the word and it doesn't sound right anymore. So the same thing is going to happen when you add ER. If the word already ends with an E, you're going to get rid of one of those E's. Just use one E. All right, so drive becomes drive er. All right, next I'm going to use the word in a sentence. So I'm going to say the driver crashed. crashed. Do you remember what makes the t sound at the end? That's right, ed. The driver crashed the car. K -R -A -R, all right, don't forget to end with a period. And you need to start with a capital. Then I'm going to underline my word driver. Okay, now I'm going to draw a picture to go with my sentence. So I'm going to make a car. Let's see, here's my car. There's the front of it, it's all crashed up. There's my wheel. This wheel in the front is all flat. Okay, and then here is the poor tree that the car crashed into. And there's some steam coming up from the crashed car. All right, and there we have it. All right, so don't forget that you are going to add ER to the end of the verb to turn it into a noun. Then you're going to use the word in a sentence. And last, you will make a drawing to match your sentence. And make sure that you write small or you won't have room for your drawing. And that will be it for this video. Uh, so today's video was pretty short and sweet. You can continue to work on your sentences and drawings for the ER words after the video. And then also make sure that you keep working on your um, at home packet every day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.